got here well about an hour ago went ahead and set up and, and got finished rigging uh, i'm just trying to kind of get my bearings around here never been here before um fun beef sailing club hey get your mask on This is master, so it starts at 35 all the way up to, I don't even know, probably 80 or 90. I wouldn't imagine we'd see any more than a little bit than that, but. It is beautiful out here. This is Palm Beach. It's about a two hour drive. Not too bad. It's getting really good. Look at these guys, man. This is exciting. Get ready to get ready to rock. Wind's picking up. Looks like it's going to be 18 knots. Uh, essentially, all three days of this regatta. So, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, I don't know if you can already see. I mean, it's it's 9:30, and the wind is already pretty freaking crazy out here. Check out these yachts right here too. I think we have to go up past, down to the right, sail around. Skipper's means in about 30 minutes and then they do the uh, harbor start. Essentially everyone then can start kicking off, but just depends if everyone's ready. It looks like they are. So we'll see. This is mine. <laughs> Find the stars and stripes today. Now right, we got the uh, stars and stripes flying. Pretty excited. First time I flew them. We just put them on last night and hopefully they'll fall off. Both sides, left to right. We also did a new Cunningham rigging. We did redid the boom bang section, uh, new main sheet. So everything's pretty much new. We just have to uh, cross our fingers and hope we did it right. Uh, so primary's new, secondary's new. Uh, outhaul is not new. That's probably the only thing that's not new. Boom bang, or sorry, Cunningham. We we actually loosened or tightened it up a bit um, to where the block can extend further down when you go to tighten it. The last time we were running into troubles. The other thing I think I'm going to do tomorrow because I'm, I'm out of time is the bungee for the hiking strap. Um, but other than that, I think we're in good shape. I usually tape these up for all three days. I don't re-tape them every day. Um, that way it's done. It's kind of a pain in the butt. It uses a lot of tape. And uh, it's not cheap. So I'll try to conserve as much as possible as we can there. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We're ready to rock. We want to give you guys uh, a great regatta. Um, I'd like to thank all the volunteers. Don, as you know, you know has been very integral to the success of this regatta over the years. And uh, so if you have any complaints, please direct them all his way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, first off, how many of you guys have been here before? Okay, how many haven't been here before? Okay, uh, we have had a discussion amongst corporate people. We are going outside today. So if you don't know, the inlet is approximately a mile to the north. Uh, and get out the inlet, and we'll be setting up the single vessel someplace between a quarter and a half a mile south of the inlet. Uh, we're shooting to do the T course, no, the W course. W course is the windward lure course. Uh, there will be a check-in out on the water, and in the past they've, left, they've said, you know, to sail by the stern. I'm asking you guys to sail by the stern on starboard tack so we don't get people zipping in a port tack, people on starboard tack, and possibly damaging boats. Any questions so far? What is the committee boat? The committee boat is like a 40 foot big red trawler that's been used here before many times. Uh, so that would be, it's actually, you can see it right out there. It's a red trawler with a white sword. Okay. Uh, today outside it's supposed to be 18 to 22 with the four footers out there. Tomorrow it's supposed to be a little bit stiffer than that with a north breeze on the 180. We may, and the waves are supposed to be up around seven feet or so. There is now a new Legends division. Where's our Legends guys? We don't know their exact age. <laughs> we don't have to divulge it, but we know that they're over 75. Okay, the one change is down anywhere that's, uh, that's yeah, over that's 78 gets minus five. I only have one thing to say. Be safe, be careful, have fun. Jenny had the doors off, the radio loud The night was too cold for t-shirts, but too late now There's nothing like freedom, I'm 16 years old Driving till the sky starts turning gold I sing to myself just because I like the sound So I do, I need one now Do I need one now?
I sang to myself just because I like the sound There were no crowds, so I do I need one now I don't need one now I wanna run through a field Just to feel the wind in my hair I wanna drive through the night Cause I feel like going somewhere, somewhere. Yeah. I don't need a reason I don't need permission Cause I don't care So if you wanna take a ride Take my hand and I'll take you You guys, I just came in from the pass. It is super dangerous. It's like 10 foot rollers, I'm not kidding. It's getting worse. My boom bang just broke. Uh, just snapped off entirely. Uh, this top section here, which is a freaking shame because I just bought that not even a year ago. Um, and that's it. That's your whole freaking regatta. As soon as any one of these things breaks, you're done. Done. Unless you got a coach boat out there. I sail, I'm a sailor, I sail. All right, so that's it, day one of the 2021 Laser Masters Florida Championship. What a bust. Um, I get out there and start doing some warm ups. I get up to the start line, get a pretty good start, honestly. I was up there probably the second or third guy off the line, right at the starboard end. Looking good, feeling good. Winds kick in, huge waves just going up and down. It's unbelievable. I don't think I've ever sailed in those big of waves before. Um, and then about halfway the windward mark, I do a couple tacks, um, and all of a sudden uh, I hear pop, and I didn't see it happen, but I look up, or I look down, and all of a sudden I, I notice my boom thing uh, completely snapped in half. There's this little plastic piece, and the Harkin um, model, the newest Harkin model, and it snapped and it's probably my fault because I redid the lines the other day and I probably didn't, you know, double check it or something. I don't know. Luckily, I do have another boom bang and uh, I brought it and I swapped it out. It looks great. I probably should redo the lines, but what a bummer, man. And it's just a great example of really, I mean, a lot of effort goes into you getting up to that race line and if anything breaks out there you're sol it's a pretty unique little road a1a um I'm sure if you've ever been to florida you probably hit a1a but Too, you guys here we go uh, beautiful beautiful morning here in Palm Beach boats are stacked up it's like day two of the 2021 laser masters Florida championship this is uh, gonna be an extremely difficult day the winds expected to be oh I don't know 18 knots again that's gonna be fantastic I didn't even see all the opties we got a bunch of them over there and a lot of club lasers sunfishes um, but yeah a lot of boats out here 420s some team racing all the lasers that are going out today it's gonna be pretty cool we'll see if they uh, actually have a chance to get out I know some people went in yesterday only because the wind was just crazy out of control and they, they put us out in the ocean out there yesterday. Today we're actually going to be in the bay um, and tomorrow as well because of the rollers. They're supposed to be like 8 foot, 10 foot rollers 
out there and yesterday i mean cut to that footage that was freaking crazy um as i was out there first first windward leg of the race got a good nice start off the bat and um maybe tacked two or three times up up the leg and then my boom bang snapped so not good but luckily this is a three-day regatta we've got some time to make up for it they only ran two races yesterday you get one drop uh, which puts me down to one race at a did not finish so not the end of the world but um, definitely not the best either so very 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 excited for today and uh, yeah we're gonna get going I guess we had to try 
should have brought a blanket But your arms are eating off Waking up for work's looking pretty tough Figured out oh. And there was no plan So I do I need one now Do I need one now I wanna run through a field Just to feel the wind in my head yeah. I wanna drive through the night Cause I feel like going somewhere yeah. I don't need a reason I don't need permission Cause I don't care I'm headed home. I'm out of here. I, w I don't want none. <laughs> I uh, made the bad mistake of showing up here without a radial setup. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty obvious that I'm not able to handle these types of uh, waves and wind conditions. I mean, this was just a, a wake up call for me to to get my act together and start making better decisions as far as what gear I bring to these events. I'll continue to show up to these events. Next one is Midwinters at Key Biscayne Yacht Club. It's the first time they're hosting this event, so very, very excited for that. Maru and his team, I will be there. That event is paid for and ready to go. Hotel is booked. I think it'll be a good opportunity for me to have a last hurrah with the full rig, but a radial sail and a radial lower are not cheap. The lower is probably 600 bucks, five, 600 bucks, and then the sale is 500, 600 bucks. So you're looking at a grand, maybe 1100, 1200 bucks with tax. So this stuff can get really expensive if you're not careful, um, but it's much needed. It's a hobby I love and I really enjoy it. And, um, yeah, there was one more day of racing tomorrow, but it is pretty. Um, just completely out of my league as far as wind conditions. It's 22 knots, gusting 20 to 30 knots. And they didn't make an announcement or anything. So people were hanging around. Some people left yesterday who didn't even show up today. Um, but all in all, I think it was a fun regatta. Um, I think I will be back next year. I'm almost positive, but th that's this time with a radio rig. Apparently I talked to the rest of the guys and this is the first year that this is they had a ridiculous amount of wind. So um, I get it, it happens. That's the kind of funny thing about these regattas, you never know what you're gonna get. It could be different every single time as far as wind conditions and everything. If your friend is a good sailor and the craft is seaworthy, yes, I will go sailing. 